The U.S. government had hoped to open its embassy in the Cuban capital Havana before the Summit of the Americas this week in Panama. The summit will host the first face-to-face -face meeting between U.S. President Barack Obama and Cuba President Raul Castro, who announced last year the restoration of diplomatic relations after a half a century of hostilities. But the talks between the two countries stalled as they haven't reached a consensus on removing Cuba from the U.S. so-called list of state sponsors of terrorism. The United States has, not just with this president, but previous presidents, sometimes set aside the terror list issue to deal with national security issues. That sounds kind of contradictory, but, um, you know, there have been lots of countries involved with terrorism that the United States still has to communicate with and deal with. And so just to use the terrorist list as a litmus test for all decisions, I think is short-sighted. A United States official has said the State Department is expected to recommend that Cuba be removed from the Washington so-called state sponsors of terrorism list. The notorious designation has been a stumbling block in the establishment of embassies in Havana and Washington. This has led Cuba to reiterate its instance regarding the U.S. involvement in terrorism against the island and to urge Washington to stop supporting such attacks in the future. Time is running out. It takes a long time to unthaw five decades of cold relations. And uh, I think they've made great progress so far. And to have an embassy open sometime this spring would be a momentous occasion, even while you have a massive opposition still amongst many Cuban-American politicians. Despite the delay in reopening the embassies, both sides appear optimistic they can reach agreement on the terror issue in the near future. Reporting from Miami, Florida, Ronnie Carvello, Press TV.